This is Higher Maths, it's practice paper F, and we're looking at question 21 in the non-calculator paper. Right, so show that uh, x plus 1 is a factor of f of x equals 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 5x minus 6. Okay then, then we're going to go on to factorise it fully. Okay, so we'll set up some uh, synthetic division for this one here, for part A. And what we'll do is we'll, uh, outside of the division, if that's an x plus 1, we'll have a minus 1 that's sitting out here. I'll look at the coefficients of each of these, and I'll write them down, and making sure that there's no uh, powers missing there. So 3, 2, 1, 0. Okay, where are we? So a 2 there, a 3 there, it's a minus 5, and then a minus 6. Right, so the synthetic division, all we do is bring down the 2, multiply by minus 1, up to here, Gather them together, that gives me 1, multiply by minus 1, gives me minus 1, gather them together, multiply by minus 1 will give me a 6, and then from there that will give me a 0 when I gather them, and that equals the remainder. So if the remainder is equal to 0, I can say that uh, therefore x plus 1 is a factor. Okay, and that's uh, part 1 complete. Right, let's go on to part 2 and we'll factorise this uh, this fully, okay? So part 2, this one here was part 1, and what we've got is, I'll just start with the f of x is equal to 2x cubed, I've got plus 3x squared, minus 5x, minus 6. I know that that there was equal to, I've got x plus 1 is the first factor. So I've just proven that that's a factor. And what I'll do is I'll take the quotient from here. Um, I was starting with x cubed, so that will be 2x squared. So I've got 2x squared plus 1x, and I've got minus 6. Okay, so that's my quotient down to there. Factorising it fully, what I'll have to do is I'll need to factorise this part out here. Put it into two brackets. 2x next, and let's go for... We'll go, for, uh, we'll go for 2 and 3 here, and I'll put 2 here, a 3 here, that'll give me 4, that'll give me 3, the difference will be 1, so this will be the positive, this here will be the negative. And that would be that uh, part complete, so that's the first 5 marks complete on that question. Now we've got part B, okay, and what we've got, given that uh, we've got an integral here, is equal to 6, with P greater than 0, find the value of P. Five marks for this question here as well. Right, first of all, we've got it in a form where we can integrate, so let's integrate this part here. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go for 6x cubed all over 3, plus, and that'll be 6x squared all over 2, minus 5x, close the bracket, limits of integration, p, and 0. And we know that that there is going to be equal to 6. From there what I'll do is I'll just tidy that up a bit, and what I can see that that's going to be 2x cubed, that's going to be plus 3x squared, and that's minus 5x, and the limits we've got are p0, and there's a 6 there. Right, so what we'll do now is we'll uh, substitute p in wherever I see x, and then in another bracket I'll substitute 0 in where x is, and we'll see what we get from there. So from here, what we'll have is 2p cubed plus 3p squared and minus 5p. So that's just the p going into this uh, bracket here. I'm going to take away from that the lower limit, which is 0. So that'll be 2 times 0 cubed plus 3 times 0 squared minus 5 times 0. Close that and that there is all going to be equal to 6. Now I can see that this uh, bracket here, all of this is going to multiply out to give me 0. Be careful with that, because sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. And what I've got left is all of this part here. So what I've left is 2p cubed plus 3p squared minus 5p. If I bring the 6 over to the left-hand side, it be minus 6 equals 0. Okay, and then what I have to do is I'll have to go ahead and factorise that. But if I look up at uh, part A, what I've already got is uh, this uh, function here is the exact same as the function that I'd started with. And I've already factorised it, so I can just take the factorised elements from here and uh, put that into my next line. 
So let's go ahead and factorise that. I'll be using P instead of X as I do my factorising. So I've got P plus 1. I've got uh, 2P minus 3. I've got uh, P plus 2 and that equals 0. From there I'll work out what uh, the value of P is for each of these. So P plus 1 equals 0. So P equals minus 1. I've got uh, here, I've got 2p minus 3 equals 0. So p is going to be equal to 3 over that side, divided by the 2, 3 upon 2. And finally, p plus 2 equals 0. So p equals minus 2. OK, I'm not going to leave it like that, because if I look at the, the range that I've been given, I've been given that p is greater than 0. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to just make a simple statement that says since... Uh, since p is greater than 0, I think I've only got one solution. The only solution is p is equal to 3 upon 2. And that would be that question complete. Right, let's have a look at some of the marking. So we've got 10 marks in total to get here. So first thing I'll do is I'll get one mark for setting up the uh, synthetic division, like this here, with the coefficients in there. One mark for progressing it through and getting a, a mark of zero, again the zero. Then making a clear statement that x plus one is a factor. So I'm going for three marks from there. What I'm going to get is I'm going to get one mark here for bringing down the quotient into that form that's there. And finally for fully factorised form, uh, that part there. So that's five marks for part A. For part B, I'm going to go for one mark for um, integrating. That'll be the first mark I'm going to get there. I'll get one mark for substituting the values in. So it'll be that line there. I'm just going to take one mark for uh, working it through from there, getting into that form, and then replacing it with the factorised form that's there. For four marks for this part, I'm going to take the mark for all of these values here. And finally, the fifth mark for stating that there only is one solution that uh, comes out of this question. Right, so five marks for part A, five marks for part B. Question out of ten.